ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12, playing Direwolf 20 mod pack here on the SP server that doesn't have a name. And we've got Java Dad on with us. Earlier, Original Junior was on. He had to go for the evening. What are we going to be doing today? Well, I've heard it loud and clear. You guys keep saying, do gendistry. Get into gendistry. We're getting there. We're getting there. But the power requirements for gendistry are immense. And we shouldn't jump into that until we're ready. So today we're going to be working on better power generation. So let's swing around here as we do put back on the armor. And well, let's take a look at some of the changes that I have done. I've started moving everything over to this area right here. So we did have some machines and such over that way. And we are going to be uh, taking care of our, we've, we've moved everything over this way or most everything. So um, a few things we need to get started before we really get into all the crafting and all of that fun stuff. Let's come over here and get uh, no, it was in here. We need to start making some Constantin. Let's take a look here. We're going to be doing some of the thermoelectric generators. We're going to get a few of those online. We'll probably be adding more as we go in, but uh, I think right now this is probably sufficient. And this takes Constantin plates. And this thing right here, if we go to Constantin, we go into the alloy kiln and we put copper with nickel. And there we go. So we're going to go over to the alloy kiln because we're using immersive engineering. We could put it in the smelter, but why would we do that when we're doing immersive? So let's do that. We'll get that thing started and we'll come back to it in just a little bit. We'll come back to, uh, there's one machine we need to take care of here. This is something that we need for forestry in the future. It's called the squeezer and this takes seeds or other things and turns it into seed oil which you need to make uh, impregnated casings for uh, bee frames and apiaries. Uh, it's not that we're actually going to use this, I don't think, but it's good to get at least get that online. So you can see some of the changes here. I've moved over the metal press, and then I've moved over the atomic reconstructor. And, and yeah, and the forestry stuff right here is the centrifuge. We just throw the honeycombs in here, and then it centrifuges them out. And it goes into a now very full ender chest. We have run out of space in, in this thing. And so maybe we need to think about something new in terms of our ender chest storage. So, yeah, I don't know about that. We will see. We are completely full over there. And then I realized the other thing we needed to do for the cloche. We needed to do rice seeds. So that's one thing we're going to do. And... I also finally got some spinach out of those frosty gardens. So that means two new things for the cloche. So let's get that over here and here. Yeah, let's just get all of this stuff. We'll come back to the power cells in a little bit. I do want to make sure that we put spinach here. Okay, and we'll get that back out. So we've got a space for it in our storage we're going to turn that into a seed and then let's come over here get the cloches and one on top of the other and then what we do is we've got our transfer node we're going to put that there and there and then transfer pipe okay and then come back here with the fluid duct for the water like that and that it's going to fill up that's full and then we need some rf up top like so and then we put in our dirt and rice and dirt and spinach and there we go so we should be getting spinach and that'll come out here once it is full how long is that gonna take it'll fill up the transfer node because it's not gonna have any anywhere to go yeah that's going to fill up rather quickly, but that means we are well on our way to Beef Wellington. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now, the next order of business, we need to grab one of these power cells, and uh, the Constantin should be good to go right now, 
but we're not quite ready to deal with that. We are going to go over this way and we'll take care of, uh, we're gonna make some windmills and I've got eight right there. What's that gonna do? We should be able to put this all the way around. Yep, okay. Now the thing is, I wanted, I wanted four of those, which means we need a whole lot more of the treated wood. And I don't know if we're going to have enough. Wait, how much? Oh yeah, we've got, we got enough. Okay. So we'll do that and then take half of that and come in like, so let's just bring it up here on our crafting area windmill. Let's do that and that a bunch of them there okay and we'll make our windmill we can make one probably need what did we run out of still got plenty of treated sticks okay so there's eight make another one of these okay and then half of that let's just do that and see what we get Sure enough, there we go. Okay, and that should have used all of it. All right, so we got four windmills, that's good. And that'll, that'll, that's a good start. And then I forgot to grab one more thing. I've already prepped the wires that we're gonna need, right like that. And then we have sticks, we got plenty of sticks. We're gonna need some of these coils for both the thermoelectric generator and the windmill requires what's called the kinetic dynamo. You already saw me put together one of those in uh, in the water mill, right? So we'll bring that up just so you can see. Uh, this thing, the kinetic dynamo, turns rotational energy into actual RF or IF in this case, but you, you, we've gone through this. So let's get the LV wire coil. And then I do believe we can just go like that, grab our copper coil block, and then we should be good on making the kinetic dynamo. Did I not have that one set up? No, we need a bunch, bunch more iron. Okay, well, while we're over here, we can grab the constantin, and then we can turn that into plates, like so. We may finish out that hammer, sure enough. There we go. And then we'll come in here, put down half of those. And that was not enough, Constantin. No, no, no. I am not doing my math correctly today. This is not good. We're going to need, uh, for these kinetic dynamos, the remaining ones, we're going to need, I thought maybe we don't have... Yeah, okay. We need the rest of these. Not enough iron. Try this. And this is how somebody's inventory gets out of whack. All right, so we're still going to need copper. We need what? One, two, three, five. And we'll get this going in the alloy kiln and we'll finish up those thermoelectric generators uh, forthwith. Now, I don't mind. Nope, not at all. There we go. All right, so where are we going to put these windmills? Well, you actually get the best efficiency if you uh, are up in the air over 200. So that's what we're going to do. Let's take a look at our loaded chunks right here. Uh, we've got, I want to put them here and here. I probably shouldn't be doing that. It'd be nice if I could zoom in. Can we zoom in? Let's take a look at F3 and G. Okay, these things are right up against. Okay, that's on a corner right there. And it's right up against the chunk boundary. Okay. Okay, I think we can do that. So we don't need 
we don't need this one over here. Right click. Yes, there we go. And we don't need that one. It looks like we do, but we don't. And we don't need that one. I want to make sure we are being good neighbors for our fellow server mates. And, and yeah, that's part of it is making sure you're not loading too many chunks. So what we need to do is we need to put these windmills in in an order around uh, such that they are seven blocks away from each other. So if we go to the middle of this chunk, say right here, okay, and then, oh, I forgot two things. Let's get rid of F3 and G. We'll bring that back once we come over. We need something called the, uh, the angel block, okay? This is the recipe for it. This thing, you can just be floating in the air and it will give you a spot right there wherever you place it. And then we're also gonna need some elevators. And yes, I did use two of those precious into pearls for that. Uh, is the Constantin done? Yes, it is. Excellent. So we can finish these thermoelectric generators while we are at it. Like so, and like so. So a thermoelectric generator runs on the concept that if you've got there's certain metals, cer certain types of metal that will generate electric charge due to a difference in temperature. And so what you do is you set these things down. And this is a real concept in real life. OK, you can you can take a look at this, but immersive engineering is using some real concepts. So what you need to do is set up a hot object on one side and a cold object on another. And we'll get to that hopefully in a little bit. So what I want to do is bring back F3 and G. We'll find that center spot again. Where let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's right there. And then like so. Yes, yeah, so this is center enough. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. We're, we'll grab our angel block and we will go up. Uh, do I have power cell? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's do this and we'll go up to 200 on the Y. So 93. Okay, we're over 100. And we can prob well, no, let's just do this for now. Make sure we stay within this chunk. So you get 25 RF a tick out of each of these windmills at, uh, if you're above 200. Okay. So maybe right here. And then if we bring up regular F3, we'll take a look at the looking at. We're at 204 right there. Excellent. So then what we're going to do is put our power cell right here. Okay. We'll get rid of F3 and then we'll come out right like this. That's going to be the center. So we come out three and we should be able to just mine that. Oh, that's no good. It used to go back into one's inventory, but apparently that's not the case anymore. Huh? Well, that's new. And this is one of the reasons why we're going to be using an elevator block, because even flying as nice as it is, is not the most efficient for vertical travel. So we want to go three out right there and three out, not that one. We want the leadstone flux duct. Okay. All right, so three that direction, three that direction. That should be seven in between. That seems like not enough. Yeah, I don't I don't know if that's gonna be enough. And it would, it would be nice if I had a magnet, you know? I don't know if there are magnets. So I'm, there's Batania magnets. But I, that's a little ways away. Okay, we should be able to go right here. And I may not have enough 
of the energy cable. Okay, so we go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll put kinetic dynamo. Um, no, I should go back one, one more like, like back here, back one, because the kinetic dynamo has to be on, um, on the front, uh, and we're at the edge of a chunk boundary here. So let's go like this. And like this. All right. And then we take our kinetic dynamo, put it right there and right there. We're still within that chunk. And let's take one of these windmills and put it up like that. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Is this going to go? So how many is this? How much is this producing? Well, that's, that's I guess that's pretty good. They're kind of slow, but maybe that's to be expected. Okay. Hmm. And then we come back here, and I don't have enough of these energy, energy cables to come back all the way. Yeah, so we'll have to make some more of those, but let's set this to accept energy. And so that's going to put that into our energy network. And then what I want to do is take this elevator block right here. And uh, let's just make a note, negative 1655. Where's my post? I could bring up a screenshot, I guess, but I usually have post-it notes around here. Apparently all my post-it notes are, oh, there they are. So negative 1655. And on the X, looking at, I lost it in there. No, X is negative 1655, Y, is, our Z is negative 168. And so there we go. I'm not that. Let's just drop down here and we can get rid of the F3G and we'll put um, right here looking at. Yeah, there we go. And we'll see if this works. Yes, it does. Excellent. So we do need to go up here and maybe set a, a lamp or a torch. Okay. Now, next order of business, uh, I'm going to set up the other two windmills in a little bit, but you kind of get the idea there. We just have to make some more, uh, some more leadstone flux ducts there. So uh, one, two, three, four, and then... Do we have any glass on us right now? No. Glass in here? Yes. So this isn't too bad. Oh, and I missed one. Um, it's no, I'm my math is just messed up this evening. Okay. There we go. And I messed it up again. But let's do this all the way around. Okay, there we go. Now the, the next order of business is these thermoelectric generators. Let me show you how these work and I'll come up with a, a better spot for them a little later. So we'll take, we'll make a little cross section here. I'm going to put one into the middle right there. And then uh, the best, the best, really the best is to run extreme reactors and, and go from there. But kind of don't have that available can i get yes i can get a two eulorium blocks we're going to do that and bring those things back here we're going to put eulorium in there and then we'll take water and put water like this and then if we take some leadstone 
you see that we've got RF building up in the leadstone right there. And so th this is the temperature differential. Eulorium is taken to be some certain temperature, a really hot temperature. And on the opposite side is water, which is cool. And so there's a supposedly a, in, in this case, there's a temperature differential between the two as far as immersive engineering is concerned. That generates RF. And so if you do it on both sides, well, you get double the RF out of it. So now we've maxed out what this leadstone flux duct can hold. And ideally you want plutonium right there and something like gelid cryothium right here. But we are a ways away from that. We have to get an extreme reactor going and turn this into plutonium. And then we have to go find a blitz. And anyway, it's a, it's a rabbit, rabbit trail. Uh, I'm going to set up something like this because we've got a little bit more eulorium. I probably need to go mining for that. But I think we can do something like, like this. If we do this. And we're not going to do this right here. But you see the, the setup here. This eulorium block can handle uh, two, two of these thermoelectric generators. And if we go right here, we do the same thing all the way along. Is that the most efficient? I don't know if that is. But it's got to be on opposite sides. So, so yeah, we can get we can get RF out of all of these. We'll put one one more right there. So that's two sides, two sides, two sides, two sides. Yeah, okay. We've got enough eulorium. That's cool. Good. Good, good, good. Excellent. So so there you go. That's kind of what we're going to be doing. I'm going to put all of the power generation over on that island, all in those same couple chunks. So I'm going to go off camera and take care of that. And I'll bring you back and show you what I got. All right. Well, we are back. I have taken care of that. Before I go and show that to you, I do need to show you something I've just found out. I can craft a Eulorium block from nine Eulorium ingots, but I cannot take that Eulorium block and break it back down. Interesting. I don't know if this is going to be fixed in the next update. 1.5 is just around the corner for this pack, but uh, anyway, that being uh, that that aside. So if we come to the elevator block, go up here, and there we go. We've got all four of these windmills going. They're going kind of slow. I don't know if that's standard. So if you know, let me know. Um, I I don't know. So they should be doing. 25 RF a tick and so up here we've got 100 RF a tick going with our water wheels we've got 176 RF a tick so 276 right there and then our thermoelectric generators we'll get to those in a bit but up here if we do happen to have a rainstorm we're going to get higher generation rates but uh, I think it's I think it's 25 RF a tick I can't easily tell because our network is full right now and we need to remedy that. But there we go. And that's the elevator block doing it to magic. Now that thing admittedly does look ugly. We will need to do some sort of a nice looking build around that. Maybe. Again, right now, it's gonna look worse. Or look, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be worse before it gets better. So right now we're building up some infrastructure. And then once we get the infrastructure going, then we can come in and do some more aesthetic builds. But don't you worry. We well, there, there are plans. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, we've, we've got other stuff in the works over here. We've got four of these thermoelectric generators. They are each producing should be on the order of like 20 RF a tick per side. So 40 RF a tick total. So it's 40 times four. That's 160. So we're probably pushing somewhere on what? 430, 100, no, 276 plus 160, 376 plus 6, 430, yeah, 436, somewhere in there. And if we get a rainstorm, then we get a little bit more. But that's what we're pushing right now, and our network overall is full. So that means we need to get some more of these power cells going, and that's going to require some more. Let me just show you. So power cell. You've seen this, okay. Emeralds. We need lots of emeralds, and we need diamonds. And then if we go up to power, so we can't go to creative. Simple power cell. I've seen somebody else on the server using that. Oh, well, that was easier, huh? 
I can store 250,000. But we're not that far removed from this, so it's just a matter of... Yeah, this isn't so bad. Over here is where it gets really interesting. We can take one of those power cells and put some infused diamonds around it, but we don't have dimensional shards. We have, yeah, that's another rabbit trail that we're not going to get into right now. So for the time being, what I want to do is put the Eulorian block away, and then we'll figure out how to get a screenshot of this stuff. But that is going to be it for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. But, um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on in the channel. Uh, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.